Let's connect BetAngel to a spreadsheet. Um, you may have seen this on other videos, but um, I'm going to expand it this time and show you a few tricks. If you go into the Excel tab, you can see here, if you click Browse, we've got three different spreadsheets. BetAngel 1 is the old star spreadsheet, Charting is a demonstration spreadsheet, and Multiple is the new spreadsheet. If I click on BetAngel 1, open the workbook, and then connect, what you can actually see here is we've linked in to the market that we're currently looking at. So you can see everything replicated in the spreadsheet that you've seen in the market. You've also got um, your balance in here as well, number of runners, um, last traded price, runner volume. And we've also added in some extra global commands, cancel all, take all, take SP all, keep all, and so on. Um, so basically, you can operate your spreadsheet from there and uh, in, in pretty much the same manner that you would do individually. If you want to do something a bit cleverer though, if you go to Guardian, <coughs> you can see we have this box up here, automatically switch bet angel market. If I go in and I add in all of today's UK races, there we go. If I now click automatically switch bet angel market, you can see that we can actually set it here. So if I set it to 60, it would switch to it 60 seconds before the off. 120 would be two minutes. 240 would be 4 minutes, or 300 would be 5. If you set this function within Guardian, you can then close Guardian down, and BetAngel will switch markets automatically. Now the implication for you here with Excel is if you write a, a certain type of script, um, then it will obviously switch in Excel as well. So you can make your scripts time definable. You can basically say, at this time, do this, and then do that, and then exit your position just before the off. So you can actually get BetAngel to go right through these markets all day because the concept of Guardian you can see here we've got multiple markets lined up here it's going to cycle through all those markets as the day progresses so there you can see uh, basically setting up a very simple spreadsheet within Excel but there's a lot more you can do on the new version of BetAngel you're not just limited to this one Excel area here if I go into Guardian we can expand on um, some new features. Let me uh, just drag that down here. You can see across here we've got a column here called Excel Sheet and the idea of the Excel Sheet is to allow you to modify the way that you interact with Excel. So if we go into BetAngel Multiple and click on this spreadsheet to open it, <coughs> much the same fashion as we did previously open the workbook and then we're going to connect as well so you can see here we've done all of that and there's nothing there let me expand this up as well so you can see there's nothing here oh dear you know have we made a mistake well no because what we've done this time is we've opened up the multiple version of the spreadsheet here you can see bet angel one meaning one market bet angel multiple means multiple markets so what I can actually do now is I can say well okay I'll tell you what let's put Chepstow on the first workbook, on the first spreadsheet within the workbook, Fakenham, Red Car, you can nominate individual sheets. So if you're doing a football match, you could do correct score, match odds, all within one spreadsheet. Or if you're doing horse racing, you can put in multiple sheets. Or if you're doing, um, let's say you could do the win and the place market within the Excel interface. So you can see here, the first sheet on here is the 13.55 at Chepstow. The second sheet is the 2 o'clock at Redcar. The third sheet is the 2.05 at Fakenham. And so on. If we allocate something to the fourth sheet, um, then that will bring that in as well. Let's go down here. Now, because um, Guardian cycles, it will only update these spreadsheets when it actually arrives on that cycle. So if I want to speed up the cycling, I can... Uh, go here and do higher or slower refreshes or I could just mark all of the unwanted markets that I had in here and just delete them so you can see we've got uh, four five six there we go so you can see here we've got all the individual markets let's just pull that up as well Betangel Guardian is cycling all through these markets and transferring the data 
into the spreadsheet. So whether you want BetAngel to switch automatically between markets or whether you want BetAngel to monitor multiple markets all at the same time, it can do that for you very easily. And then the other advantage of the BetAngel Guardian tool is you don't rack up unnecessary data usage or transaction charges because all of the capacity within Guardian is managed according to the limiter that you see in here. So you can see here, limit data requests from Betfair to 20 per second. You can raise or lower that. You can see if you go above 20 per second it warns you that you're likely to incur a charge. So this gives you uh, the ability to trade multiple markets all at once without having to have multiple versions of BetAngel open. And also if you put orders into each of these individual markets such as an offset order with a trailing stop, Guardian will manage all of that automatically for you in the background regardless of what you're doing. If I switch Guardian down now and go to the first market of the day and st start messing around in here, all of that stuff is still going on in Excel. All of the updating is continuing within Excel. So you can see here, this gives you the capacity to trade many more markets than you would do if you were just sat on the individual BetAngel screen.